Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to multiply uh, any number with 5, 25, 125 or 15 very quickly in your mind without using a calculator. So this approach is very handy when you go to a, a market or you are in exam and uh, you want to do calculations very quickly. Uh, and if you practice, you can remember all these uh, calculations uh, or, or all these concepts in your mind. So let's do the first uh, multiply by 5. So in case of 5, suppose I have a number 22 and I want to multiply 8 by 5. So all I have to do is divide 22 by 2, that will be 11 and then put a 0 in the end. So that will be my answer. Again, let's say I have 86 and I want to multiply 8 by 5 so all I will do is 86 divided by 2 so that is equal to 43 and then put 0 in the end so that will be 430 so this is the concept the concept is very easy uh, so 5 is equal to 10 divided by 2 so in a way uh, if I multiply 86 um, by 5 that is equal to 86 into 10 divided by 2 so that will be equal to um, 43 into 10 is equal to 430 so as you can see this is not nothing new and uh, mo most of people already know this uh, but uh, we don't remember uh, this uh, concepts when we are doing some calculations in the exam or in the market so it's it's very handy if you remember this kind of uh, uh, concepts now let's go to 25 if i have to multiply any number by 25 so we know that 25 is equal to 5 into 5 so instead of dividing by 2 we will divide by 4 so now suppose i have 88 and i want to multiply it by 25 so in this case i will divide 88 by 4 so divide by 4 so that will be equal to 22 and then I put 2 0 in the end so that is my answer again if I have to multiply 64 by 25 so that will be equal to 16 because 64 divided by 4 is equal to 16 so we have 1600 as answer so now uh, let's say I have to multiply any number by 125 so we know that 125 is 5 into 5 into 5 so instead of dividing by uh, 4 we can divide by 5 uh, divide by 8 so now let's take example like if I have 80 so I'm using 80 because it's easier to divide by 8 so if I multiply it by 125 so that will be equal to 80 divided by 8 uh, is 10 and then uh, 3 0 in the end 1 2 and 3 so that is my uh, answer so again let's uh, take another example if i have um um 64 so as we know that um 8 into 8 is 64 so in this case if i multiply by 125 that will be equal to 8 because we divided 64 by 8 and then put 30 in the end so it will be 8000 and uh, let's take another example 128 by 125 so in this case uh, we know that uh, 128 divided by 8 is a 16 and then we put 30 in the end so that is our answer so um, now let's go to uh, multiplication by 15 so in case of 15 uh, this is a little different so um, we have suppose we have a uh, 64 and want to multiply it by 15 so in this case what I will do is uh, I will take 64 and then I will add 64 divided by 2 to it and then multiply by 10 so that will be equal to 64 plus 32 into 10 and that's equal to 96 zero right so let's do it quickly suppose if i have 44 and want to multiply by 15 so i know that 44 uh, half of 44 is 22 so that will be equal to 66 
and then a zero so that will be uh, 660 suppose if I want to multiply uh, 22 by 15 so that will be equal to 330 and if you want to multiply um, 66 by 15 so that will be equal to 99 and 0 so as you can see I'm, I'm using a simple numbers but you can always go to complicated numbers and do same kind of calculations so I hope uh, this tutorial will help and uh, I know this is uh, uh, just a concept uh, but if you uh, use this concept you will slowly get used to them and then you will be able to find that you can do calculations very easily uh, without uh, using any kind of gadgets or um, and that can uh, improve your efficiency in day-to-day -day life and even for the examinations so thank you